subscribe, digital, home delivery log in register now help. Home page today's paper video most popular. Edition, US. Global. Search allnighttimes.com. Europe. World Africa Americas Asia Pacific Europe Middle East US. New York. Region Business Technology Science Health Sports Opinion Arts Style Travel Jobs Real Estate Autos. Advertisement. Russia bars 18 Americans after sanctions by U.S. Left and center, Melissa Golden slash Getty Images, right, Damir Sagolge slash Reuters. David Addington, left, John U. Center, and Major. General. Jeffrey D. Miller are among those whom Russia has barred. The action from Moscow followed sanctions by the United States. By Ellen Berry. Published, April 13. 2013. Moscow, a day after the United States imposed sanctions on Russians accused of rights violations, Moscow said Saturday that it could not leave this open blackmail without response and published a list of 18 current and former American officials who will now be barred from entry to Russia. Related. U.S. Penalizes Russians for human rights violations, April 13, 2013. Connect with us on Twitter. Follow at NYTIMPSWORLD for international breaking news and headlines. Twitter list, reporters and editors. The list is headed by four men who Russia's foreign ministry says are responsible for the legalization of torture and unlimited detention. David Addington, who served as chief of staff to Vice President Dick Cheney and provided legal support for interrogation policies. John Yu, a high-ranking Bush administration lawyer who wrote several major opinions on torture, and Major General Jeffrey D. Miller and Rear Admiral Jeffrey Harbson, each of whom commanded detention operations in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. The remaining officials are justice and law enforcement officials whom Russia accuses of violating the rights of its citizens abroad. Several were involved in a case against Victor Bout, the convicted arms dealer now in federal prison in the United States, and in a drug trafficking case against a Russian pilot, Konstantin Yaroshenko. The most high profile among those barred is Preet Bharara, the United States attorney in Manhattan, who oversaw prosecution of the Bout case. Moscow had warned that it would respond in a tough way to the United States' so-called Magnitsky list of sanctioned figures named after a lawyer in Russia who was investigating official corruption, only to be arrested and die in custody in 2009. Already, Russia's parliament has banned adoption of Russian children by American families, cancelling scores of adoptions that had not reached their final stages. A spokesman for the Russian Foreign Ministry, which released the tit for tat list on Saturday, said that Washington must realize that it cannot conduct its relationship with Moscow in the spirit of mentoring an undisguised dictate. Our principled opinion in this unfriendly step is well known, under the pressure of recifobically inclined U.S. congressmen, a severe blow has been dealt to bilateral relations and mutual confidence, said the spokesman, Alexander Lukashevich. He added, the war of lists is not our choice, but we had no right to leave this open blackmail unanswered. A State Department spokesman who declined to be identified said, as we've said many times before, the right response by Russia to the international outcry over Sergei Magnitsky's death would be to conduct a proper investigation and hold those responsible for his death accountable, rather than engage in tit for tat retaliation. Those on the list were not known to be frequent travelers to Russia, and at least one mocked Moscow's move with a reference to President Vladimir V. Putin's athletic endeavors. Darn, Mr. You said in an email. There goes my judo match with Putin. The diplomatic tussle comes after a year of deepening strains between Russia and the United States, and in the eve of a visit by President Obama's National Security Advisor, Tom Donilon. The Obama administration has sought Russian cooperation in crises in Syria and North Korea and recently decided to scale back plans for a missile defense system in Europe, an irritant to Russia. But Mr. Putin